day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. We can hear um I can um, I can I can hear what she's saying, but I can just barely hear. Really? But uh okay. one thing I did caught uh when she first started talking, the first thing that came to my mind is uh believe it or not, there are a lot of young men and women in the church. Yeah. You just don't see them like you see everything else on social media. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so uh, the 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 media and the environment that we're living in is not picking up that information. It's showing everything but. Right. Now, what amazed me was in the Olympics, all the young men and women gifted God, praise and glory. Uh huh. Amen. That blew me away. It really, really did, and uh, it gave me hope. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For our youth. And uh, then I began to, to look for younger people moving uh, and and living in this living this life, and uh, I started to see more. So if you look, you'll start to see more. Yeah. But but uh today's society and social media will have you thinking the opposite but i do agree with what she said when she said young men and women aren't going to church and are leaving the church because they're not finding christ in the church right the traditional ministries and 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 uh what i what i saw man uh yesterday i was going to uh, Best Buy, I wanted to buy a hand recorder, and uh, I have my mask on, doing my due diligence with my mask, and a uh, family got out of the van, a family going to the same store, and, and, and as I was walking by, the little girl, being nice and, and, and so forth, to to talk to her mother, so I said, why he got that mask on? If I, have my, if I put my mask on, I'd get sick. Meaning that somebody told her that, yeah, somebody told her that if you wear the mask, you'll get you sick. sick. You know, wow. I mean, and you see in the in the news where you got people going to school boards and, and, and uh, protesting outside, and some cases even being violent over wearing a mask. Not not vaccination right now. Vaccination is that's a whole new different protest. Uh, but the one they talking about was wearing a mask. Yeah. Right, and uh, they they showed on the news yesterday where one lady they posted that word of mass is just like great. They they equated the, the mass with great, uh, and saying that the school board, right. yes, hold on. Right. Mm -hmm. well, well, anyway, there's some somebody was showing that the people were school board, the people, the parents were protesting. And equating word making a word mask as great. These people, you know, uh, it, it's 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 something that that's hard to talk about. Yeah. Without without you know staying away from the political. Uh, mess behind it. right because that that's that is the root of it yeah is, is uh political uh agenda so it, it's kind of hard to get into that what right. i'm doing right. but I, I, my effort is to keep this in line with the gospel and uh <laughs> it's hard, ain't it? Hard. But it, the only reason the only reason I say it's hard because it's it because it's one of the other elements that fits into the gospel, you know, into the ministry, right? 
you know, when you got well, masters with with the video, you you were uh, you, you were trying to to play it earlier. You know, we got we 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 got a nation that is trying to mix theology and politics along with uh Christian. Yeah, right. And I say those three because <laughs> politics is politics. That's just trying to make your point right by any means necessary. Right. You know, it doesn't matter whether it's truth or or not, whether it's good or bad. It is your ideas that you want to succeed as far as being the mainstay in our country. Right. That's politics. Then you have religion. That's using the Bible <laughs> to make points that ain't got nothing to do with. with. The then you have Christianity, the the the, the lifestyle. Yeah. Being Christ like. Yeah. You know, and uh and even that is is starting to take a hit in some area yeah, so you know so so it's kind of hard to uh to talk on this without like i said without getting into the political aspect and taking a political side but what i do know is that we need to stay focused on sharing the gospel and uh, doing those two great commandments. And and, and, I and, and I think what well, and, and I guess uh, I want I guess I wanted to point out was that that the uh, that's when you share the gospel and knowing that people are uh, using the. Uh, Political positioning, but I, I think I, I think two months ago, I, I, I think I put on the screen where pastors put out that they show up at the church with a mask on. That was in Kentucky. Uh, that he'll put them out of the church, out of the congregation. Uh, so it has spilled into the ministry. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's, it's it is it is clearly put into. Uh, the political land. The, even even when they organized the January 6th attack, they, that that went to church meetings and people organized, get people up there. Uh, I think you remember the one where they put Kenneth Copeland was in there where uh, when they told him that he, that uh, Trump lost, you know, he he gave that historical laugh, right? He was like. You know, ha 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 as if I'm not believing what you're saying. I, I'm gonna laugh at the devil because there's no way that man lost the election. You know, so he kept saying ha ha ha. So so it has moved into the mainstream. Uh, the even the fringes of the QAnon, all that stuff is moving into the main uh, stream of of, of politics mainstream of the of our faith well you know when, when you say that and and, and it's, as soon as somebody who is called to the ministry and accept that call as soon as they step into the role of politician then they are no longer a pastor at that moment and should not be looked upon. Right. You shouldn't use that stage or platform. Right. That is a personal opinion. It is not of God and shouldn't be received as such. Yep. Um, because if they're going to push anything, it should always be the kingdom of God. Period. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think even when they even when they, they, they ride that we saw last summer, 
uh, I think it was last summer, right? Yeah, it was summer it was before the election, you know, where they pushed the people out and the man went and did a photo op in front of the church. You know, Trump did the, the, the yeah. Bible. The, those are all props in trying to incorporate the gospel or the ministries into politics. It's like, let me, let me show those people, hey, I'm standing for the Bible. And yet the person doesn't even know I'm going to go to church and they use that. He and made sure that, and this, this thing got nothing to do with nothing, so I'm not even going to uh, yeah. mention it. But, what, but I, what, I, what I think what that lady was talking about, the fact is that people, here's the point. People see these things and it runs, when she was making that point of saying that people, young people leave the church and so forth, she said it, it is impacting some people. It is, and then even the judgmental stuff, but that's what I want to talk about. I wanted to go to the scripture today. It has run people away from the ministry when they say they're not living up to the standards of the quote unquote ministry. You know, like when, when uh, we had a conversation with, with one of the brothers saying this, I just don't believe you keep on sinning and going to heaven. And, and the question really wasn't about going for eternal life. The question really was about going to church while you're still sinning. You know, going to church, still going and listening to and the gospel. Don't even, those are apples and oranges. Going to church and still sinning is two, two things that are apples and oranges. And going you know, to heaven, right. Because the, the, you can go to church and, and and the church ain't got nothing to do with that. It's just called, you know. Right. Uh, so going to church, and you know, as a reference to being a to, to, to being a child of God is, is a horrible example. It is. It is, and I think that's what some, some people become gatekeepers of that and don't understand. See, I'd rather see somebody in ministry, hear the, church, hear the word of God, fellowship with other believers, because that's where the cleansing comes from. That's where we, we want to stay in Christ, not out of Christ. Uh, but judgmental, when people start judging people, they, they're judging for the fact of saying is, you, you're not you're not saved. You know the question you hear people say, you're not saved. You know, well, dude, that's not your, that's not your concern. Your concern is, Pray for me, encourage me to live according to Christ, not put me away or run me away. You know what I mean? It's not running you away. It's trying to just help you grow. And that's why I put up in these scriptures here. Look at this. The, um, let me share. But I, I, I think that's what's the scripture. I want to say the main point is the people come to church to hear, study the word of God, fellowship with other believers, and grow. Move the politics out of the way. Let 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 the just go there to worship. Like you're saying, if you just just go there and, and, and just worship with other believers and stay in the scripture, stay what the word is saying, and let the word help you deal with the challenge of life. The life does have challenges, but we want to be able to understand that we can teach people that when you go, we teach them and point them about Jesus. Because Jesus is going to be with them when they go through the child, you know, the trials and tribulations. That's what you want to point to Jesus. So I put back up here, I just wanted to throw it at you. So the title is, It's a Small Thing to be Judged by Man. The scripture I was using was 1 Corinthians. Uh, let me go back up the title here. 1 Corinthians 4 3. But with me, look at that. You see that? You see that title? But with me, it's a small thing to be judged by you. Oh man, you know, that's Paul talking, right? But that's what has crept into most places, is to be judged. And they were judging Jesus. They were calling Jesus a sinner. You, you remember that, right? They, 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 they do that to, to try to control the, uh, the, the message. Well, but I, most people in the crowd were just, they just had that crowd mentality. And they just joined in and shut up, I believe. Yeah. You know, that, that, that 
tends to be uh, the issue with men. We're, we're, I always said that we're, we're like cattle. Yeah, yeah, you know, don't have to be. You get one going toward one thing, and then you get a couple followed, then the rest are just gonna get, you know, I equate that with, uh, uh, like when we're, <laughs> you go to the grocery store, and you got two registers, one on the right, one on the left, and you always have somebody try and get it in the middle so they can take a choice of the right lane or the left lane, whichever one comes first. Right. And then everybody gets behind that person in the center. And since I've always looked at that as a cattle mentality, I walk right next to the person in the front of the line on the right or the left. And when the right or the left opens, I step up. <laughs> you know, you're going to take a choice. <laughs> you're either going to go to one side or the other if I get there. You right. know, I'm not in that line that you chose to make by getting in the so <laughs> no different than all the other cash you know cash registers there's right. one one line for that register everywhere else but just because there's one on each side of this one you want to get in the middle so i i, I try uh i choose to buck the system on that but uh but that's just me but anyway well, yeah i that crowds can be moved to do certain things and so you got to be careful and yeah. the, the church is a good example of that yeah you know uh you you'll have a a, a a pastor that you know wants to present his personal views and many of the congregation just get behind that view just because it's the yeah. pastor right you know? And that's his personal view. And, you know, the Bible says, follow me as I follow Christ. Right. Right. You know, so, you know, there should always be a question, did that, is that following Christ? Right. You know, and, and, and it should be a prerequisite for saying their personal view. This is my personal view that I'm letting me be known at this particular time. Which, mm -hmm. if it says that, then it really puts it in place. Why is it being said? Because that's not what this is about. This is about you perfecting me to do the work of the ministry, not the work of the government or the work of your political platform or your specific beliefs about this world system. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that is the should be only about Christ and him crucified and the redemptive work that came from that period and, and and that's 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 that was one of the things we because you know, like you said the main thing is your personal view opposed to pointing people to a christ and and knowing and understanding that's your that's your job to point people to a christ that is your that is the whole purpose of it but we also know this, this lines up with the end times right we know that They've been people have been using the gospel, using ministry, uh, to push people in a certain direction for years. 